facing that way. So everyone's going to face that oh, wall. Okay. All okay. right. Everyone's facing this wall. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Awesome. Great. Well, thank you, man. Wonderful. Okay. So when you can't do something live, you use your friends. You use and abuse your friends. So what I'm going to do is I am going to come to the back of this line, and I'm going to tap the shoulder of this person. They're going to turn around, and I'm going to do a, a little movement. When I'm done, I'll tap their shoulder. Then they'll turn around, tap the shoulder of the person in front of them, who will get to see the movement as well from that person. And it's gonna keep moving down the line and we're gonna see how it changes with each iteration. So here we go. <laughs> if we can remember that, I'm All sorry. Right, go ahead, go There's... ahead. Yep, yep, no talking though. Oh, can you guys move forward this way a little bit? Sorry. Cool. Okay, cool. Yeah, and Joel, can you do it? I, okay. I already forgot. Okay, so now oh, what we're going to do is we're going to show what this, so this was what a signal looks like when it moves up the auditory portion, okay? And so we see where things can break down along the auditory pathway. Now, this was almost like someone with hearing loss having a problem because the sound just gets to their ear and immediately there's an issue. And so by the time it gets to the brain, the representation of what it actually is is quite distorted. Now we're gonna show what the difference of therapy is. We're gonna be actually increasing neural connection by using redundancy and um, showing with repetition. So now I'm gonna show them, e each person is gonna get twice to both do the movement and also see the movement. So here we go, let's try this again.
do anything you remember. Yeah, your okay. turn. Here we go.